Welcome back to another Reality Check unboxing video review. Today we're going to be doing another 3D printer. That's right. Ah! It's a little bigger than our last unbox, which was the Anet A8 over there. This one is the Creality CR10. What makes it kind of special is it's the, you know, it's 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 huge and it's under $500. It's actually closer to $400, actually more like $380, $375 for, from time to time. And, and actually it's got a 300 by 300 millimeter plate on the bottom and it's of course got a build size of 400 millimeters. That's insane, it's insane. It's, it's, a, lot of, it's a lot of space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and unbox it right now. And uh, one thing that certainly excites me about this printer is that I've heard that it actually comes together uh, quite assembled already, even though it is a DIY do-it-yourself uh, printer, you do have to assemble it. Um, it's not nearly as complex as the Anet was, which was literally every single piece. But before we jump into the printer, I wanna show you guys one quick thing. So this time I got smart. What I did is I actually was pre-printing some things before I got this printer in preparation, as well as I purchased a few things. So I'm just gonna go over those things right now, just so you can see what things I may or may not add to this printer. First and foremost, I got a PEI board, nuts. The heat sinks, LED strip lights, good old Raspberry Pi, and a 12 volt to 5 volt cable for the Raspberry Pi. More nuts, Raspberry Pi heat sinks. Okay, and for the printed accessories, I do have some fan attachments that I've got right here. Um, this one uses two fans, this one uses one fan. You can use either or. I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna use just yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at each of these. I've got this really thick support frame that's gonna go on it. It's really just gonna you know, help give it a little more support. I've also got these supports for the tops and bottoms. Those supports go in combination with these rods and that allows it to have some more stability on the back end. Camera mount, plastic spool holder adapter, CR10 tool holder with modified name, fan attachment, memory card for the Pi, and of course all these other little attachments are just little pieces that go on the printer such as the X and Y belt tensioners. So those are also gonna be added as well. So those are the attachments for the printer that I have yet to build. Okay, so moving on to the printer. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's how you know it's a good printer. You know it's a good printer. You can just, oh yeah, feel it just like that. So let's unbox this printer and see how much work we have in front of us. Time to get the X-Acto knife out. <laughs> Got the X-Acto knife. Let's be really nice and gentle about this because we don't want to disturb any of the parts inside. Really nice and close and gentle. Really gentle about it. There we go. And once we've gently opened the package, we just gotta put the X-Acto knife back down and then we can just finish up from there. So we can see on top we've got some memory foam. We'll go ahead and what? Yes. Yes. There you see an almost almost already put together printer. Grand, uh, I still haven't gone halfway through, so let's go ahead and actually pull it out. Okay, so there we go. We have two halves of what looks like basically already pre-built printers. I'll, all I'm gonna have to do is just basically put one piece on top of the other, connect the pieces together, and, and, and get going from there. One thing I gotta mention, if you don't already know, this printer is a little bit different from your normal printer in that it is a Bowden style printer. So we're gonna be able to show that off. And what's really nice about that is that I can actually attach a 3D printed, printed accessory, which will allow me to use kind of a flexible filament as well. Uh, and that's gonna be just hugely cool. So that, uh, that's something that my other two printers can't do at the moment. Um, my, my Taz, of course, could do that, but you'd have to buy the attachment for that. So um, with a 3D printed add-on, I can clearly do that with this guy. Okay, so the next step is getting these guys out of the package and we're gonna go do that right now.
on. Uh, it's ready to go. It only took me a few minutes to level it. We've got the PEI board already on there. If I go ahead and click this button, I can go to prepare and disable steppers. That allows me to move this around and you can see that's already nice and level for the whole spot. And this thing uh, is just stock right now. This is completely stock. I haven't added any of the extra attachments to it yet. So right now we're just going to go ahead and do a quick print on the stock settings. And that will be just a nice thing to see. And of course this is a Bowden style. So uh, you know, one thing I can also say is that some of the, the weaknesses also are prevalent. You know, uh, As people have pointed out, there is no support for this back. Uh, wiring right here, so they've got a little harness uh, print attachment that I've got that I'm going to add for that. Like I said, we're going to do one print here before we do those attachments. Um, also, you'll see up here the actual plastic kind of touches this Z rod, and uh, you'll just want to uh, you know keep that off of that. So they've also got an attachment that I'm going to add that's going to keep that off of that as well. Um, and we'll go ahead and be able to make some of those fixes very very shortly. But like I said, I want to go ahead and just run it stock. The belt feels pretty loose, but you know it. Uh, it seems like it's going to print just fine. I bet it will. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, give it a shot. Why not? Let's go ahead and take a look at the SD card. Hit print from SD. I have no idea what's on here. Uh, CR10. Okay, so here we go, there we go, yeah, we've got the printer, it is uh, set up for now in the stock position. We've only added a few actual customizations to it at the moment, but right now we've actually got this crazy awesome Dragonstein, Dragonstein right there, yep, we, we, we printed Dragonstein. So I'm going to end the video for now, but I wanted to show you guys that we, uh, we are going to do some more add-ons and the attachments that I showed you earlier. I just want to, to make this guy a little bit short, but we do actually have, like I said before, Back here where that cable attaches, we did add the slack relief to it so we don't have to worry about that cable being pulled. Uh, also over here, I did go ahead and add on the piece that allows me to, of course, if I want to use flexible filament, I can do that. And uh, this one also keeps that plastic off of the Z-Rod. So let me go ahead and show you that right there. You can see how the plastic actually goes right off the Z-Rod there. You don't have to worry about it getting touched on anything. Plus, it also keeps this nice little spot where, you know, I can, I can make sure that that cable doesn't actually get in the way of anything. So this is just a great little attachment right there. I do recommend you do those two right off the bat. And then uh, we'll go from there. We've got some more attachments to add on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later. Bye.